Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bros here with a very, very special video, one that I hold dear to my heart. Uh, and the reason is, it's about Golden Gun. If you guys don't know, Golden Gun is getting a buff, the bottom tree. The top tree is getting a slight nerf. Uh, we'll talk about these things, but I played Golden Gun for five years. I main this for five years. The only time I switched was when Blade Barrage came out. It was still Solo Hunter, so I just switched to that. But then the Reddit Warriors and everybody that cried about getting Solo Barrage got it nerfed, and Blade Barrage is practically useless now. It's so, since the beginning of Destiny 1, you know, I stuck with my Solar Hunter, and I enjoyed it. But I must admit, and I've been on record saying this, and I'll argue this to the death, I've always felt like Golden Gun was one of the bottom three subclasses in the game bottom two bottom one even uh i always thought it was the worst subclass in destiny one now it's debatable it's definitely not worse than sun singer with the burn nades and overshield melees right it's definitely not worse than the axion bolts ram warlocks that have blink shoddy right it's definitely not worse than the blade dance with the backstab that can hit you from the front now if you guys didn't play destiny one you might not know what i'm talking about but every subclass had something pretty broken about it and golden one was just a good subclass i don't think anything about it was broken uh even the trip mines when they did stick which you know they took away i don't know why to this day they took that away um when you have melees that kill people from the front that are called backstab uh or firebolt melee you know or firebolt grenades that had burned people out if you shot them once it, you know it's nuts and it could hit like three people in a in a huge radius or arc bolts that could chain to 10 people if you had lucky raspberry and you get it back every time you spawn up so I always thought that Golden Gun was one of the worst classes, if not the worst class in the game, and I definitely feel that way in Destiny 2. Golden Gun is useless. You cannot, you cannot even use it in comp. How many times do you guys die in Golden Gun in comp? I'm sure it's none. It's just a quick play super, and it's honestly like the only super in the game that's basically only viable in quick play. But anyway, moving on past that, I've always wanted a neutral game buff or a buff to Golden Gun. Now, I was expecting a super buff... Be like you know movement speed or over shield or you get a kill and you get your duration extended that'd be pretty cool instead they gave us you get a bullet back which i never liked i never liked that buff because i don't think golden gun lasts long enough as is so me having the potential to shoot 12 bullets doesn't mean much to me because the golden gun doesn't last that long and then you have bottom tree striker or supers running around you get a kill and you you get three extra seconds which is nuts but it won't get that to golden gun which has no over shield and no movement now enough of me about me ranting point is this video is extremely important, and Bungie's doing something extremely uh, important and something that makes me extremely happy, which is buffing Golden Gun's neutral game. Now, they're buffing the bottom tree of Golden Gun, and they're slight nerfing the top one, in my opinion. Uh, now, I want to get into that right now and read to you guys what was in the Twab about a week and a half ago. Now, I took my time making this video and releasing this video because I want to get opinions on from everybody, from a lot of people. So let's get into what the uh, what Bungie's actually doing here. So they start out by saying that the bottom tree Golden Gun is mainly only used with Celestial Nighthawk and PVE, which is true. So they then say they want to differentiate the Golden Gun pass and make Sharpshooter more versatile, interesting using in PVE. In order to differentiate the three shot and six shot Golden Gun and better play into their fantasies, we made the following changes. For three shot, we increase the auto aim distance and reliability when aiming down sights as it fulfills the role of long range accuracy. For six shot, which is the nerf I talked about, we shorten the damage fall off range to emphasize a short range gunfighter role with a lot of kill potential. While it can still perform at longer ranges, it may take an extra shot to get the job done. Which, you know, does not sound sexy in my opinion. Uh, if enemy's really far away, you may have to two tap them with the golden gun. I don't like the idea of that. Now, this is. I think talking about a PvE, but it might be the same in PvP as well, which would be a turnoff for Top Tree. Now, while that's not a change that I'm a huge fan of, they did add something I think is phenomenal. We made okay, other right. changes to the Weta Outlaw to help keep its potency, like adding a new explosive prox knife that can stick to surfaces and detonates when enemies pass nearby. So now we have a throwing knife on the Top Tree that's sort of like smoke on the tether class which i mean i don't know how much damage it's going to do and how good it's going to be and what the you know distance somebody has to be to it but throwing a knife on a wall as a trap and running the trip mines you're basically gonna be like batman which i think is so dope so i'm looking forward to seeing the explosive knife and how long and how much damage it does or how long it sticks to surfaces so that's pretty cool 
Now, on to the most shocking or most surprising thing in the video and the most controversial by far, the new weighted knife. High damage knife throw with a long wind up, travels at high speeds, bounces once, and does extra damage to the head. Precision shot final blows, recharge the melee completely. One hit precision final blow in PvP. I'm going to come back to that later, but I want to read the rest of the buffs that the subclass is getting. Practice makes perfect. Lasts longer, but gives a bit less uh, energy per second. Precision hits grant two stacks. Uh, new, knock them down. Precision final blows increase weapon stability and ADS speed. Timer starts at 10 seconds, but any additional final blows assists can increase it to up to 25 seconds. Casting your super with this buff above 20 seconds consumes the buff and grants extra damage. Does not stack with Celestial Nighthawk. Line them up. Old perks from Crowd Pleaser are now part of this perk. Golden Gun can cause precision damage and precision shots generate orbs of light. So, lots of changes to the bottom tree Golden Gun. Lots of changes to the top tree. There's so much to talk about. Now, I want to say I'm overall pretty satisfied with the bottom tree buffs. I think they're phenomenal changes. I do wish that they would have on the knock them down perk um, where you get precision blows, increased ability, and ADS speed, giving us quick draw. I, it's ever since Destiny 1. The, gun, the, the subclass is called Gunslinger. Gunslingers are known to have the gun on the hip and draw it really fast. Uh, but even in Destiny 1, they gave Blade Dancers quick draw on the skill tree, but not Gunslingers. That's always been so backwards to me. But I guess ADS speed and stability is good enough. Now, back to the most controversial thing, the heavy knife. Uh, the reason I took so long to make this video is because there's so many opinions about this, whether it's going to be broken, whether it's going to be niche, whether it's going to be OP, whether it's going to be completely useless. But I'm under the belief that it's going to be really good, but really situational and definitely not OP. Of course, when this twab drop there was a lot of backlash and a lot of excitement depending on whether you were a gunslinger or not or whether you played hunter or not so i went to twitter and tweeted out let me get this straight so people are against a one shot throwing knife that has it to be a precision hit while running around with a one hit melee on titan and a one shot grenade on warlock which neither require any precision damage now i don't have many followers on twitter but this tweet still got up to 357 likes and almost 50 retweets, which let me know how many people were passionate about this and a lot of comments underneath. So I heard a lot of opinions. I've argued a lot of opinions, talked to a lot of people, talked about it on my stream, and so many people are against this knife. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. Now, from what I saw, it was mostly Titans and Warlocks arguing this. While they have a one-hit melee on each class on Titan and a one-shot grenade that is just absolutely obnoxious that you can get back so frequently. Neither one of these guys want hunters to have a one-shot kill ability. Now, this one-shot kill ability, now, you know, on face value, it sounds OP. But if you read it, it says a long draw time. We don't know how long that's going to be, but if it takes a long time to wind up and... You know, you got to hold it down for two seconds, then it's not going to be that useful if somebody's rushing you. You know how long that's going to take to get ready? Now, I mean, I don't we, we don't know how long it's going to be. But even still, the draw time and the fact that it takes a precision hit. It is not easy to hit a precision hit. And if we're comparing the three one-hit kill abilities, the Hunters, the Titans, and the Warlocks, because they'll all have one in this update... What's easier to hit? A grenade with the radius of the equator? A shoulder charge that I've been... I mean, I've, I've jumped over Titans and been hit in my toe and killed by a shoulder charge. Or a knife where I have to hit you in the face. I have to draw it up and hit you in the face. Or wind it up, whatever. I don't understand why people are hating on this knife so hard and so against it. This thing is going to be the highest skill got one hit kill ability in the game by far. And I understand some people say you can pair it with the, you know, the shade step where you get your melee back or you can run double throwing out of exotics. You know, whatever. It's still going to take a precision hit, homie. It's still going to take a wind up and a precision hit. So I wanted to make this video to get you guys' opinion and let you all know that I think the knife's going to be totally okay. 
So yeah, guys, as my closing argument, ask yourself, how many times do you die to throw knives? How many times do you die to golden guns? How many times do you die to gunslingers and crucible in general compared to storm callers and, you know, striker titans and all these things? Like, generally, ask yourself this. And ask yourself, how often do you die to bottom tree golden gun? Even when it's golden gun, it's usually top tree spamming. So, obviously... Golden Gun needs a massive buff. I think this is a massive buff. This is definitely a step in the right direction. I'm extremely excited. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I've been playing this for five years. But I do play every character, every subclass. And this, to me, is the weakest. So, I'm happy to see these changes. And if you guys don't like a one-hit kill throwing knife and you play Titan and Warlock, are you willing to give up? you know shoulder charge or handheld supernova do you think it's fair to take them all out of the game because i'm i'm cool with that as well but this is what we're gonna have we're gonna have each character with a one hit kill ability um so we'll see how it plays in the crucible i'm really excited you guys will definitely get some gameplay from me uh you know as soon as it drops i'll probably make a video immediately about how good the knife is or how it you know how it plays because i'm so excited to get a buff on my favorite character slash subclass um, but yeah, keep it civil, you know, keep it respectful, be intellectual in the comments. Don't just be, you know, spewing insults and stuff at Titans, Warlocks, and Hunters and the Huggets. But, um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and please enjoy these snipes. These are some nutty snipes that, uh, I just never posted. And I was like, this is the time to post it because I was on Gunslinger. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and I hope to have a dialogue with you guys in the comment section. Have a good one, guys. Yo, ain't got me. Hit one for the farm beat. Zone C captured. You have the advantage. Press on. Two down. Oh my god, I'm so nasty with it sometimes, man. Seriously. Double down. My respect, Hunter. They shoot him? I respect Hunter. Two for one. Clad it. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Oh, it's a clip. Undeniable. I was getting clipped.